My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid, fried chicken, popcorn, get whatever you may need. And I hope you enjoy the video. E3 is starting to finally kind of settle down a little bit, you know, all the dust to settle, all the smoke. It's clear, okay, as The Rock used to say. But, um, E3, you know, finally starting to, you know, simmer down a little bit, and, uh, but I, I still got a lot of stuff to, <laughs> to, to, to talk about with E3. I still got at least maybe five plus videos I have in mind to do with either about E3 or games that were at E3. I still got a lot of stuff to talk about. But, um... Ouch! <laughs> it's starting to get hot in this sucker. I felt like Birdman in all his music videos. <laughs> but, um, I wanted to talk about games, okay? I wanted to talk about some games, but not only games, I wanted to talk about the best games. I wanted to talk about, more importantly than that, the best games at E3. E3 2014 had a lot of great titles that were shown from Uncharted to uh, uh, to, to, to freaking Far Cry to Batman Arkham Knight to Assassin's Creed to The Order to um I mean Sunset Overdrive to that Halo Collection to The Last of Us Remastered to Grand Theft Auto 5 finally coming for the PC Elite <laughs> you know it had a lot of great titles you know but what were the best games? What were the most impressive games? What were the best games at E3? More importantly than that, my brothers and sisters, what were the top five best games at E3? So this will be my top five best games at E3. I am extremely interested in knowing what your top five is, so leave it down in the comments section. But here's my top five going from five to one, one being the best. Well. I mean, if, if, it's, if, if it's in your top five, it's not bad, but you, you get it. Five being, you know, you still want it, but it's not as good as one, okay? So, um, my top five games at E3. Let's get into this second. Number five, Cinco. Wait, wait, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. <laughs> it's been so long since I've used Spanish. <laughs> but anyways, my Spanish uh, teacher would be disappointed. <laughs> but, uh, number five. Okay, Cinco in this sucker, okay? Number five, a lot of you guys might be shocked and disappointed and might unsub, <laughs> but number five, I'm putting Uncharted 4. Hear me out, you bastard! <laughs> what? Yeah, are you kidding me? That was my number one, bro. Oh, I'm done. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Listen, you bastard. <laughs> but I put Uncharted 4 at number five. It's still in my top five, but I put Uncharted 4 at number five because we didn't really see gameplay we seen a trailer now did that trailer look i don't even i, I don't know if it, if, if it was a cutscene trailer let's just say trailer okay but the jump looked amazing okay 1080p not even 60 frames 90 frames <laughs> and when i said 90 frames per second some people thought i was serious no i'm not i don't even no 90 frames per second isn't even the thing i just said 90 frames because it looks that good <laughs> but um uncharted 4 we all seen the trailer freaking looks amazing okay but i'm putting uncharted 4 a thief's end at number five because it was just a trailer we didn't see no gameplay and all the other games that I'm about to mention, we've seen a little bit more than just a trailer. So that's why I'm putting Uncharted 4 Thieves in at number five. But nonetheless, is in my top five after that trailer. Best to believe my brother is thirsty for that Uncharted 4 Thieves in. At number four, I'm going with Far Cry 4. Far Cry 4 um, looked amazing. Far Cry 4 just looked like one of those games that... You don't need to see nothing else. All you need to do is just take out your wallet, take out your 60 plus dollars here. <laughs> like, you don't need to see nothing else. Take my money. Far Cry 4, that gameplay we seen at Sony's conference. We seen the trailer at Microsoft's conference with uh, that new guy that looks crazier than Voss. Um, but we seen the gameplay at Sony's conference. Far Cry 4, that junk is going to be spectacular <laughs> like the only thing i didn't like about far cry 3 
was a lot of the characters you didn't really care like the character development could have been better the story could have been better it had Voss in it which was like he he, he was the highlight of that story but I, I always felt the story could have been better um so hopefully like the characters in far cry 4 are better you know the plot is better and stuff like that we already we, we we know the gameplay is going to to be fun i heard they're going to focus more on the online aspect this time you know this time around so far cry 4 looks amazing and that's why far cry 4 is at number four coming in at number three and the sucker okay uno dos tres Huh, coming at number tres. New way. Numero tres. <laughs> My Spanish sucks. <laughs> but uh, coming in at number three. <sighs> is is the reason why I'm up is why I'm about to shell out four hundred plus dollars very soon. My crypt tonight. I still can't can't believe this is happening. <laughs> like it's almost too good to be true. The Halo collection, Lord have mercy. <laughs> I cannot wait to get my hands <laughs> on that Halo collection. Not even that. When you get the collection, it gives you access to the Halo Five beta, dude. And dude, um. Again, I, I have so many more videos to do about E3 and the games that were at E3, but to my knowledge now, it's not only just Halo 2's online. This thing will have an online for every Halo, even one. One that didn't have um, online on Xbox, but on PC it did. So it's going to have the online for Halo 1 remastered, for Halo 2 remastered, Halo 3 and 4. This is like a color. This is like a remaster I have never seen before. That that's why I think this is worth the full price. Like Halo One through Four, the story, the multiplayer, remastered in HD, 1080p, 60 frames per second. <laughs> I am sold. I'm buying an Xbox One. I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm sorry. This game is my. Kryptonite, okay. <laughs> Halo Collection, Master Chief and this sucker coming in at number three. Coming in at number two in this sucker is uh, Gotham's Hero, The Dark Knight, Bruce Wayne, The Batman, <laughs> Batman Arkham Knight, three words, Lord have <laughs> mercy god dang that game looks amazing i'm kind of sad that junk was delayed <laughs> like dude that gameplay we've seen at e3 wow not even just the visuals just how fun the game looks it seems like this is gonna this is hands down going to be the most open world batman game yet like you can see you can actually fly down like all the way down to the, the road and see like car and, and see cars like driving like it's that open world now I, I i don't know how how open world this game is going to be batman arkham knight you know it took it up a notch from batman arkham asylum it looks like batman arkham knight is about to go full-blown grand theft auto right now as far as open as far as open world goes but from seeing him flying in the air to being in the Batmobile, that gameplay looks crazy when you was in the Batmobile. Just to, I, I mean, the the Arkham series for Batman has been like the, I think before this series, people were questioning like, yo, is it possible to have great games with superheroes <laughs> because before it was like i, I, I mean yeah you, you like you had a couple but it it wasn't like up to this level in in in, in like amazing like game of the year type like games with superheroes you know in them and batman when that batman arkham asylum came out going forward it just changed up just the way people think about making superhero games like you can make a great one and batman is scientific proof of that batman arkham knight lord have <laughs> that that game is game of the year material simple as that and is going to be uh from my understanding the 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 uh ending to the uh 
to the uh, series for the Arkham uh, game. So um, Batman Arkham Knight looks amazing, and that is why it is at my number two. Now coming in at number one was kind of a shocker to me, because this was the first time we've seen it, and you know, we've been seeing games like Destiny and The Division and Assassin's Creed and, and, and stuff like that, which all look amazing, but this game, when this game was shown, it literally not only had me, like, paying attention to everything going on, but it had me, like, remembering, like, how competitive and how fun it used to be to play shooters back in the day, back on the Xbox Live with Halo 2 or 3, or back on the PlayStation 2 with, you know, SOCOM and stuff like that, but... Coming in at my number one, as far as my top, like games that just straight up just had me like, <laughs> <laughs> like this game probably like th this game impressed me that much. And the game that is at my number one. And I'm gonna have to see more of it because we're only seeing what we've seen at E3, okay? And of course, you know, it's the first time we've seen it. As it progresses, will it get worse or will it or will it get better? I don't know, okay? But as far as what we've seen at E3, number one is Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> <laughs> that gameplay that we seen at E3 was it? Uh, UB, yeah, it was you. It was Ubisoft's uh, conference. It was the last game they showed. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege. From the gameplay to 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 the uh, to the dialogue that was going on while playing to the graphics, to the detail, to the, 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 oh my god, like, can you imagine playing that game online, and like, just seeing everything that was going on, this game looks like it's going to take a lot of teamwork, a lot of communication, a lot of uh, knowing how to get around the map, like, dude, like, it, it, it dude, <laughs> like, we need shooters like this, man. And for Rainbow Six Siege to come out like this, this almost, I'm almost, almost, not, it's, it's not quite there yet because we've seen more of this game. I'm almost more excited for Rainbow Six Siege than The Division now. Ubisoft has a lot of great titles coming, okay? You, Ubisoft is trying to take over, trying to take over the world, but Rainbow Six Siege, that gameplay that we've seen at E3, the jump was just too good for me. It, it, it was too good, too impressive, and it just made me think like, yo, if this game can come out and be like what I'm seeing right now, this can get not only myself, but a lot of other people that, you know, are starting or that are starting to get tired of the, you know, or, you know, or that are starting to get tired of shooters, you know, because because it's kind of becoming, you know, a stale because there's so many like shooters out there. So oversaturated with shooters that are all the same. This shooter can almost put like shooters back on the map. OK, Rainbow Six Siege, that that game <laughs> that, that gameplay was just too good i'm sorry at, ra at number one i'm putting rainbow six siege if you have not seen that gameplay type in rainbow six siege gameplay e3 2014 and watch that gameplay and then you'll probably get an idea of why i'm so excited for this game but we're gonna have to see more of it but um so that's my top five. Number five, Uncharted 4. Number four, Far Cry 4. Number uh, three, Dad Halo Collection down. Number two, The Bat. Man. And number one, Rainbow Six Siege. What is your top five? Okay, there are still so many great games that I that did not put in my top five. From The Order to Assassin's Creed to um Sunset overdrive to uh, uh i can't even remember dude there's so many so so many titles to look forward to the division i, I mean god the crew I, I mean little big planet three I, I mean dude do you want me to go down the list i mean so the, uh what is your top five i'm extremely interested this you know this should be uh this should, this should make for a great debate you know so uh saying that <sighs> e3 was really good this year E3 was really good. 